So what cocktail are you going to find at the end of the rainbow on St. Patrick's Day? Stick with us and we'll show you. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eddie from Average Joe Drinks. And I'm Vince and we're here to make drinks suitable for the average Joe. Just like my father intended when he spent the bulk of his life collecting drink recipes, we've got over 11,000 and we're going to share some with you now. That's right. So sit back, enjoy, and please try this at home. <laughs> He's ready to muddle. <laughs> I have a muddle. You should not give me a muddler because I will play with it. So Eddie, what do you got going All for right, us today? So we are wearing green and here's green and more green and more green. It's St. Patrick's Day. So it's we are making me with a muddler too. <laughs> I was close too. We are making um, a St. Patrick's Day drink. I was looking up a few different recipes out there and what the most popular ones are. And I saw this one. It looked really good. We love ginger beer. So we are going to make a pot of gold. Okay. So you find the end of the rainbow, St. Patrick's Day. Leprechauns. And um, they look like leprechauns. <laughs> yeah. They're magically delicious. So <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're, I've got some cucumber pieces in there, and we're gonna do some muddling. Uh, for good or for bad. We're doing muddling. It's gonna muddle that mother. We're gonna muddle the mother. And about six to eight mint leaves per drink. And we have about five pieces of um, cucumber slices in there. And we're gonna muddle this up. And I'm not gonna make you watch me muddle the whole thing, cause. Wait, you're muddling the cucumber too though, right? We are muddling cucumber and the mint together, yes. So, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I've got that muddled. Um, just a heads up, a tip for those that are average like us. When you muddle, like look at the height of this muddler, right? Mm -hmm. And the height of the glass, well when I muddle, yeah, I kinda hit my finger a little bit there. So, it would've been, made more sense for me to muddle either in this, or get a bigger muddler. We don't have insurance yet. We want to get a bigger muddler. They got a, they got a procedure for that. So, so here we go. You can buy those. I've got that sufficiently muddled. They should never give either one of us a muddler, ever. <laughs> but here we go. So we're gonna put a half an ounce per drink of, this is uh, elderflower liqueur. I almost said Saint Germain. St. Germain is also elderflower liqueur, but it's it's like 25 to 30% more expensive. It's the it's the well-known. Just get this, in my opinion. So one ounce per drink of elderflower liqueur. And then we're going to do two ounces per drink of vodka. I should pour faster. So while you're doing that, this is Irish how? It's green and it's called pot of gold. Okay. That works for me. I just wanted to clarify for... <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fantastic question. It's a recipe I found. Um, it was called pot of gold. It has elderflower liqueur. It's got mint and cucumber, so it has the green theme. actually theme. So that's why we call it that. So I'm gonna shake this up. And then we're gonna have a couple glasses of ice there. And there we go. So we're gonna distribute this equally between the two glasses here that have magically showed up, just like leprechauns and pots of gold. Oh, yeah. This, that is the magical lucky the, charm the, kind of thing. The Irish carbonara effect. You know, so. If you're Irish, please don't take offense to that because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm Irish. I have some Irish. Actually, so do I. Should show I. It's gonna be a tough one, Dad. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's so good. Okay, so after we've distributed that equally-ish amongst the two, we're gonna to top with about an ounce of ginger beer. You know what, I'm not gonna say about an ounce. I'm gonna actually do it, measure it, just so the flavor comes out correct. So, we're gonna put an ounce of ginger beer per drink. And it's interesting you say that, because there are a lot of drinks where they tell you fill with soda, fill with lemon-lime soda, fill with champagne. And it does make a difference how things taste yeah. when you dilute them and Everything. And that's yeah, true. And and part of the problem is my highball is a little higher than my drink, but that's okay. It'll still work out. Your what is higher than your drink? <laughs> my highball. <laughs> so we're gonna one time spanker mint. I muddle and spank usually at the same time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I thought I was bad. <laughs> there we go. That. There's a pot of gold. 
And one thing I could have done. Oh, and, you know what? That's cool because I can smell the garnishes from here. I didn't even have to put it up to my face. Yeah. If you'd like, you can certainly double strain it to kind of get some of the mint and the cucumber pieces out of there. It's up to you. I've had a little bit of champagne today and a couple of drinks, so I decided to not do that. Cheers. I'm enjoying the the smells and everything already. I haven't even tried it yet. I do like cucumber and drinks. Mm -hmm. Now understand that there's really not much other than alcohol in here, so it is a little bit strong. But it's really tasty yeah, though. it's tasty. It's refreshing too. It's a little on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. um, the garnishes, the mint and the cucumber, both very strong. The taste though, I'm not sure what the overpowering taste is. You do get the mint, which is interesting because there's nothing really minty in the drink itself other than the garnish. Yeah, the muddle. We muddled the mint, so. So you broke it up? Yeah. This is really worth trying. You know, as we go through this, and it, if you look That's through our repertoire play. of videos, you'll see that there's a lot of repetitive drinks. Mm -hmm. You know, things with one ingredient off. Cure Royale versus the French 75. They're so similar. Right. Slow Gin Fizz, Gin Fizz, Tom Collins. When we get something that's really unique though, that makes me really happy. So hopefully um, on your St. Patrick's Day, you find a pot of gold, whether it's a drink or actual pot of gold. If it is a pot of gold, um, feel free to share. Donate. Yeah, donate to the <clears> We cost. could use some financing. We could. So anyways. Quite to the IPA stage yet. Like the beer? That too. Oh, yeah, we're past that. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you like what you saw today, we'd ask you to do a few things. Please give us a like on YouTube. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the little bell that alerts you every time we upload a new video. So, that way you don't fall behind. But if you do, check out our Facebook page where we have our Catch Up Tuesday. Where we put old drinks on there. So, if you ever missed any, we try to recycle some of those so that you can see those and catch up. We have a blog at AverageShowDrinks.com. We are on social media, Instagram. We tweet occasionally. Please look us up there. Please drink responsibly. Please do. And we want to thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.